This is the island where I'm from. It had everything. Sandy beaches, cascading waterfalls, public access to loop-the-loops, and all with a relaxed tropical vibe. And then there was me. A little blue ball of super energy. No past, no family, just a lot of mysterious power in an extremely handsome package. <laughs> That's Longclaw. She took care of me. She was basically Obi-Wan Kenobi if Obi-Wan Kenobi had a beak and ate mice. Word got out pretty quickly about the mysterious toddler and his extraordinary power. And the bad guys came not. It wasn't looking good, but Longclaw had a few tricks up her sleeve. We barely got out of there. Longclaw knew my power made me the biggest target in the universe. The only way to keep me safe was to keep me hidden. And a dinky backwater planet was the best bet. So, where did I end up? You guessed it, Earth. Listen carefully, Sonic. This is an alien world. Danger could be anywhere. We must be extremely cautious. This was my first run on Earth, and it was amazing. Nothing ever felt so right. This was where I was supposed to be. <gasps> Even if it almost killed me. You're lucky you have me, dear. <laughs> the thing was, the further I ran, the more there was to see. Before long, I discovered what was beyond the woods. People! We should say hello. Maybe we could be friends. We can share their world, but never let the humans see you. I don't understand. Humans are like any creatures. When they encounter great power, they will want it for themselves. And you, Sonic, have the greatest power I have ever seen. So, with great power comes great boredom. I believe you have this power for a reason. And someday we'll find out why. Until then, we must stay hidden. These rings are our most important possession. If you're ever discovered, use one. A single focused thought can take you anywhere in the universe. If you must leave Earth, this is the next safe world. That's a lot of mushrooms. <gasps> Longclaw took care of me when I was a baby. And when Longclaw couldn't take care of me, I took care of her. She was my only friend.
ain't gonna catch ya. <laughs> You're supposed to be Tom's best friend that he won't shut up about. Well, I don't see the appeal. <laughs> Stop! That is very gross! Uh, hey, Jojo, can Uncle Tommy get a minute alone with the blue guy? Sure. Come, Ozzy. Cool dog. No wonder he's your best animal friend. I want to talk to you for a second. Have a seat. Okay. Up here. Right. Right, right. So, back on the highway, what was that crazy lightning display? I don't know. It's only happened to me one other time at the baseball field. Baseball field? That's weird. What were you doing? Just playing baseball. Okay, there might have been some light crying involved. My power gets weird when I get emotional. <laughs> yeah, well... Emotions are powerful things. Humans struggle with them all the time. I've never seen a human shoot lightning out of their butt. Well, maybe that's your real superpower. A little time, a little practice, who knows what you can do. <laughs> I'm sure it's a tough decision for you to leave Green Hills. I'm sorry I was so hard on you. So we good? Yeah, we're good. All right, we better hit the road. Tom, if you so much as glance at my car, I will rip you limb from limb. You want to drive?